can't see you because I'm blinded by the light in my new location. Blinded by the light. I'm gonna move, hold on. Too close, hazard, the hazard of the job. I'm here with, can I shoot you guys? Sure. Film you guys, record you guys. Deborah, Deborah and Deborah. RV Don't Rebel Girl. RV. And do you have a YouTube channel? Pill free in my RV. Feel free? Pill free. Pill free oh, in pill my Oh, free. <laughs> pill free, feel free in your RV. Pill like, free go feel. In my RV. Pill free in her RV, great name. Yeah. I've not interviewed her yet, so, um, cause I've been not having a good day, but. Uh, and I got to go finish editing, but I wanted to come out. They had this fire. So I'm pretending I wanted to show you. This is what I want you to think that I'm doing. See, just sitting around by a fire. But no, I'm going to go in and edit. And then I'll come out here for a few minutes. Okay. So I'm doing better. <laughs> okay. Wow. I love this new place. It comes with water deliveries. Yes. Water deliveries. <laughs> right down there. It's complimentary for your first night. Today. <laughs> it's complimentary. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Water. Water. So if you got oh, a gosh. bucket, I can't Yeah, I got, a, I got a container. Hold on. Most of them are empty, so this is good, good. timing. You want to just pour it out? Yeah. yeah. You don't, you're not going to hurt your back at doing this. You want me to put it up there? Oh, no, I have a, I mean, I don't have a bad back. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I do. Mean, I have a time. bad body, not a bad back. Well, here, oh. you're taping. It's a recording. Oh, sorry. <laughs> She, I do from where. Some, no, no, come closer. She needs some training. Well, hold on. I put training. these down. Okay, hold it. Put the chicken down. Hold the camera still and look in the camera. Okay. Don't right. look at me. There we go. Hold on. Don't look at me. All okay. Right. It's recording. Take two. Take take five. <laughs> take five. Take five. Oh, I can take five. Hold on. Let me put this down. I'm gonna go take five. <laughs> take five. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, that's five gallons. Well, that's what the thing says. It says five <sighs> gallons. I just thought of something <laughs> why I was picking up water I don't exercise you know why because this is my exercise I'm a water hauler <laughs> and I'm always lifting pouring drinking I'm a water hauler and even when I get my water pump installed and I fill that up with water I'm still hauling water because of the reverse osmosis water that I use for almost everything so I'm still a water hauler Let's figure this out. Okay. Water. You want to give a gift to somebody in the desert? First ice cube. Give them an ice cube. Just one. And then uh, water. Oh, water. No, thank you. It saves me, like, it gives me an extra day or two. I don't yeah. have to run into town. Thank you very much. I can't see you. Because I'm blinded by the light in my new location. Blinded by the light. <laughs> Isn't that song? Yeah. Don't give me any copyright violations. Just kidding. No, but if I sing it, it's not. Oh, okay. See, she knows all the rules. I don't know all the rules. I don't know all the rules. I know the laws now. I know the camping laws, <laughs> but I don't know the rules. Okay, well, uh, that sounds like someone's going to the bathroom. So I, I was gonna... just going to say, I'm going to have to go and leave now. We'll go to the bathroom because oh. there's water running. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you in a little bit. I'll see you in the next like segment, okay. whatever that will be. A couple things right off the bat that I noticed when I got to my new location is how much privacy and freedom and having the door open and lighting a fire, a campfire. Like I wasn't even sure if you could have a fire on that land and so I never, uh, I didn't ask those and I'm not sure, but and then you can't have them in parking lots <laughs> and that was really fun. So I, I had been here, what, that happened on... Saturday and then by Sunday night they showed up Deborah and RV Rebel Girl and we had a fire and that was beautiful it was windy but that's okay just the sound and the smell of it is really grounding and so I spent about an hour by it which I normally don't do because I'm usually working <laughs> and then I just take pictures of me by the fire Making it look like, you know, that's what I do. <laughs> the romanticized version. The things that I think I'm... It's actually things I think I'm doing. I'm just not. I just see pictures of them. Thanks for watching that 22-minute video.
of what sometimes happens in my life. Not all the time. Not every day. No, sometimes. It's not... A, 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 it's a difficult thing to watch. And for a comedy channel. <laughs> I know. I know. The places I take you guys. Yeah, well, uh, hang on. We're going, we're going places. Although I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm staying here at least for 14 days. Um, as you can see, I'm doing great. Uh, good. Not great. Great. You know, every day I get a little bit better. And that two day break was only really a 24 hour break. <laughs> Can you tell that I'm in a YouTuber's camp? There's somebody over there in a bunny costume. And that's that's really cute. At first it scared me. And then I, like, want one now. <laughs> in about a week. It. Okay. We'll see. I, I have one last question, though. Not last question. One question before I go away for the holiday. Okay. It's okay. peaceful here. Wanted... Most of the time. A few four-wheelers go by or off-road. Probably really big maybe this weekend, but that's okay. This is their playground, and it's state trust land. So it's $15 a year, but you can only park two weeks. So we're leaving in, uh, we're leaving next week, and we're headed <laughs> south again. I'm only an hour and 15 minutes, or, well, not from here. But I'm about an hour from, I think I'm in Mojave County already from, from my land. And I've been talking to the people. Uh, they're on it right now. But it's not a place. If I go there, I can't really work there yet. So I'm going to have to go probably to Quartzsite or Ehrenberg is my, is my thought. But I'd, I'm, um, they might come down and get a few things that I brought out for my land, which would be great because it lightens the load a lot. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but Laura got off safely and will be returning shortly with her beater van. <laughs> and we can't wait. Next year, I think uh, a beater build, 2019. I should have a beater build. <laughs> I won't even show up, so forget it. But somebody can steal that name. They can have it. Beat or build. Um, this kitchen is a problem because I can't really film in here. There's always I always want my windows open, and there's this glare. And then if I put it over there, you get this view, and it ain't pretty. <laughs> but but my kitchen's clean. I'm clean. My bathroom's clean. All sorts of stuff is organized and clean. I took a video of that earlier, so I'll insert that. It's Thanksgiving Day, and yesterday I got my whole kitchen cleaned, and I got all my jars, all my potion jars. That's, that's an actual potion jar, by the way. And that's for green stuff, red stuff. And that's when I mix them. Yeah. Got everything back clean in my basket and my tea tray. And yeah. So it just feels really good because you know how important this area is to me. And I love the uh, privacy out here. And I just planned on hanging out. Uh... Deborah was right there, but she ran the generator a lot, and I did like using it once in a while, but I just couldn't take the vibrations because she was like right there, and moving wouldn't have helped. So she moved way down on the peninsula, and now she can run it anytime she wants. So I'm going to go down and have some Thanksgiving dinner. It might sound a little crazy, you guys are used to that, but I did uh, have to work a little bit today. Holidays are a big call-in day for people. I do allow a, few, a little bit of time for people that are um, with the fibromyalgia people and people that are alone. 
and I'll tell you what, I was alone most of my Thanksgivings and holidays, but I didn't mind it. It was so quiet. It felt like a break. It felt like air. I, mean, I had lots of places to go. Of course, I could never get there, but I did have the option if it was a good day, but I generally didn't make them. And um, people say, oh, pick you up, but that wasn't it. I didn't need a ride. It was getting ready or, or, or being able to in, um, sort of endure all the sensory overload and the diet that would just wipe me out. So, And I don't like to drink around, I was mostly around children, so I was, because I was sitting on the floor. So sometimes holidays just felt like a, a break for me. Today is one of those days where I'm not under a lot of pressure. I just found out that Laura's, not Laura, um, Deborah's friend just drove some turkey fixings and stuff out here. I saw the truck go by and I'm like, ooh, work truck, nice. And then I realized it's like coming to our camp. She had to move because of the sound, but because of her generator. So I'm just like, wow delivered way out here so I we weren't going to do a Thanksgiving uh, because it's just too much work and I have to work but uh, we were just going to do a special little meal but hey delivery delivery I was like, I gotta go stop working stop recording and go be normal yeah I'm all cleaned up I'm having a little bit of a dilemma with my choices. This is what happens with people that don't have a lot of energy. When you have some energy, you're all cleaned up, you feel normal. I mean, I want to work. <laughs> I want to like make videos and edit and, but I, there's this pressure to participate in cultural traditions. And that's just something I've really never really done uh, very often. And today is I'm out in the desert, <laughs> food's delivered and I really just want to work, work, work. I mean, I work taking calls and talking to people. That doesn't feel like work. That's just like a, and that's just an exchange of energy and resources. And it's just, and then, uh, but this is YouTube stuff. This is work, making videos and editing and choosing content. And well, I mean, choosing the stuff that drives by, right? Cause I just get to ride by content or have to drive off content. Uh, that video, by the way, um, wow, that kind of blew up, <laughs> I guess. Uh, it was, the the positive responses were great. I'm, you know, 95% of the people got it. And the people who didn't, didn't watch the whole video and realized that I had asked for permission. I had checked with the groundskeeper. I didn't say that in the video, though, that, you know, I was like, can I set up a tent? And they're like, oh, yeah. And so it was a 14-day camping area. So it, it really was a surprise <laughs> because I did check and, uh, but I wasn't supposed to be there and it's okay. It's okay. Cause where I'm at now is really good. I'm like, have a Sue and I'll be here for about another four, three, four, five days. I don't know. And then Laura and I are headed somewhere else. And that hopefully will be a place I can set up for like three months. <laughs> Not going to say two years, but at least for the winter so I can make the RTR be close to the RTR. I'm thinking Quartzsite, Ehrenberg, something like that. I've had to change my couch a little bit because this is very shocky and sparky and this isn't and either is that. So I missed it with my water and a little bit of fabric softener and that, that really helps. It's a little trick here I use for the desert. And it smells good, but fabric softeners aren't good for your health. So I'm going to find a more natural product to add to the water that, that doesn't, that's not just water. Does that make sense? Because the water dries up. Okay. I have to do something important. Okay. I have a new thing I'm doing. I fill this up with hot water or water, and then I just let it sit out here. No solar oven, no reflectix, just, and it, and I tested the temperature with my little temperature gauge. Hold on, let me go get that. Is that recording? I think so.
So here it is. And this I got when I was baking bread in my um, cast iron thing. Whoa! <laughs> there it is. Since I don't do gluten very often. This is really cool. You just stick it in. You can set the temperature that you want and it'll go off. But I checked it yesterday and it was like 90, oh, there's my head, 90 degrees. And then it got up to 99 and I was like, cool. So I did my dishes with 99 degree water, 99 degrees. Oh, I just realized it has a magnet. I'm going to play in camp a little bit before I go down and eat a bunch of food and get all bloated with gluten and who knows. Delicious food. Bye. So I hear I might be getting a little bit of work done tomorrow on Friday. Uh, I haven't talked to the guy yet that drove by. <laughs> and he's a plumber and a handyman and loves to just tinker around. So we'll see what I can get done. What a, what a thanks. That's what I'm thankful for. <laughs> you know, on Thanksgiving... We all talk about who and what we're thankful for. And there is a lot to be thankful for. But there's something that people, I don't hear. And some of you might not agree with this, but I don't really care. Because one of the things I'm most grateful for is how I have discovered my worthiness. How thankful I am for me and my choices and my, my reaching for more and understanding that my, my experiences have drama or conflict or contrast or ex adventure. <laughs> my, my, my experiences have drama. I don't have any drama because how I understand what's happening. Yes, sometimes it's hard. The word sometimes People have a tendency to think they watch a video and think like that's how I'm feeling like all the time or that's just always happening and it's not. So I'm thankful for me and you should be thankful for you and your constant reaching for more in your life, more answers, and re but also being available to receive them. Receiving and being in the receptive mode of your belief system is it's more important than in the asking mode we can you can sit around and ask oh, oh, oh hold on I'm gonna go off on a sermon <laughs> not a sermon but you know so just be thankful for you start there and that's the only way we really can be thankful for everything that's happened around us is knowing how worthy we all are and our journey, how truly purposeful it is, even when we don't understand. So, be thankful for you. I'm thankful for me.